It may only be 13 degrees outside, but I'll tell you, there's no better way to get ready for the big game than to take queso to that party that you're going to. And today we're going to teach you five different ways to make this queso, and it's going to be good. As you can see by my breath here in the studio, it's in the very low teens right now here in the Midwest. And we are getting ready for the big game. And so we are talking queso today. And this queso, we like to smoke it. We take it out and we put it out on our offset smoker. It's a wood stick burning smoker. And I'll tell you, it just gives it another great flavor. But any of these queso recipes you can make in a crock pot, you can make on the stove, you can probably even make in the microwave. But today we're gonna show you how we smoke these quesos and we're gonna show you five different ways to make it. Because you've probably seen smoked queso recipes out there, but the whole thing is they just give you one recipe. There are so many great ways to have queso and we're gonna show you five of our favorites. So let's dive in and see which ones we're making. All right, this first one that we're making is what I call David's Smoked Queso. I'm David, and you know what? This is the queso that I make when I go to a party. So this is my queso, and I love it. It has a pound of taco meat. It has some pickled jalapenos. It has some Monterey Jack cheese. It has cumin, some sauteed onion, a can of Rotel, and some Velveeta in here. Now, if you want the exact ingredients, check out the description down below, where we'll have all of the information there and links where you can find these recipes on our website, even print them out, change the quantities, all of that's there. So this is the first one. This is called David's Smoked Queso. Next, this is a smoked queso blanco. Instead of the Velveeta on this one, we use the white Velveeta that you can find in supermarkets today, as well as some Monterey Jack cheese. We have some cumin, some white pepper, some sauteed onion. We have some green chilies, which I absolutely love green chilies, so good in queso, as well as some cream cheese. So this one right here is the smoked queso blanco that we're gonna make. All right, this is our spicy smoked queso. We have spicy sausage here. We have a can of Rotel. We have some uh, green chilies. We have some shredded pepper jack cheese, as well as some cumin, a little bit of cayenne pepper. These are two flame roasted poblano peppers, some sauteed onion, and then some Velveeta as well. Now this one's gonna be a little bit spicy for those of you who like spicy, and you can even kick this up a notch if you want, taking the poblano peppers out, putting in some spicier peppers, or you can even tone this down. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but this is gonna be a good one. All right, next up we have our classic smoked queso. This is one that my wife Melissa actually got when she was teaching still, and a friend brought this to the potluck party. We still got the recipe card inside. It's a cool recipe, but we call this classic because it has the out of the box ingredients. This one has the can of cream of mushroom soup. This one has the um, cumin. It has some uh, adobo spice in there as well. It has a can of Rotel. It has a, just a regular pound of sausage. And we even kicked this up a notch. This is a sweet bourbon sausage that we got in link form. Just took it out of the casing, browned it up and put it in here. You can use anything, just a standard old tube of Bob Evans or Jimmy Dean, whatever you've got around there. Some sauteed onion. There's some red pepper in this one as well. This is a fire roasted red pepper as well as some Velveeta. This is our classic smoked queso and it's always a winner. And last but not least, we have our chipotle chorizo smoked queso. So we have a pound of chorizo in here. We have some cream cheese. We have some Monterey Jack cheese. We have some cumin. We have some chili powder. We have a little bit of salsa here. This is just a jar of salsa that we put in here, as well as half a can of chipotle in adobo. If you want it spicier, you can leave those seeds in, those chipotles, but we went ahead and pulled a few out because we don't want to blow out our guests that we're having here in a little bit. But that is in there as well as some garlic cloves. We have the uh, Velveeta here, and we're going to finish this off with some lime juice at the end, give it a little bit of acidity, and it's going to be really, really super tasty. So it's time to go ahead and get these out on the smoker. Today we're smoking on the Lone Star Grills 24 by 48 offset smoker, and this is a wood smoker. We're gonna go ahead and use splits of cherry wood to provide the smoke and the heat for today. And what's gonna be fun about this is we've invited over four friends, and they're gonna taste test all five of these quesos and give you their thoughts and opinions on which one you should make for your upcoming football party. So before they get here, we gotta get this stuff melted and smoked. Let's go ahead and take this out on the smoker. 
All right, so at 15 minutes, I went out and stirred all five different quesos and they're coming along great. Now, we're getting ready to go out here at the half hour mark and stir the quesos again. And I wanna show you what they look like as we do that. All right, here we are at the 30 minute mark. We're out here at the smoker. Let's take a look at how we're doing. There's our queso blanco. You can see that that thing is ready. We have some of our others down here. They are looking pretty much ready too, but I'm gonna go ahead and give them 15 more minutes on the smoke so we can get an added smoke flavor to these. So we're gonna let these roll for a little bit longer, but they're looking good here at 30 minutes. Can't wait to taste them. All right, so as our guests are getting ready to arrive here at the lab, we wanna go ahead and tell you how this is gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and put out all five quesos here on the table, and we're gonna have our guests come along and try each one. Now, the goal is I want them to try each one and honestly just tell us what they think about it, whether they like it, whether they don't like it, what they like about it, and we're just gonna to listen to hear what they have to say because I can tell you that I like these, but now we have four different people coming in to tell you what they think about these. I think it's gonna be interesting to see what they have to say. Now, once they've tasted all five, I'm gonna go ahead and have them rank each one, one to five, to see which one they like the most and which one just didn't come in for them, okay? So that way you'll have a chance to see which one you wanna try based on some of the reactions of some of our guests here at the lab. I'm excited to introduce to you our guest panel for the day. Our first panelist is Beth, and Beth is a realtor, she's an interior decorator, and she is a phenomenal at-home baker. I like spice. I have high hopes for this. Hmm. A little spicy. A little spicy like now. Okay. Mmm. I feel like that one's like sweet a little bit. Okay. Last one. Mmm. Somewhere. Okay. If I'm gonna rank them one to five, I would say the spicy one, number one, then the sweet one, because that's unique. So that's number two. Chorizo, number three. Just like chili con queso, I don't know. That one, four, number five. Our next guest is James, and he's a retired Marine. He's also a hunter, as well as a workout guru. All right, let's start with this taste test. Go. First one here. Yeah, good scoop. Like a bean taste to it. Like a bean, like a refried bean kind of taste to that one there. The next one. Gotta make sure I get a good, good amount on there. Hmm. Like a white, like a white cheddar kind of taste on that one. I'm a big fan of spice too. So I'm, I'm not only am I gonna get some cheese here, I'm also gonna get, take one of these jalapenos. Mm. It's really good with the jalapeno, the spices on the end of it. So and you can taste like the um, the, the tomatoes and um, like pico de gallo in there. This looks similar to that one, but let's see. That is a little sweet. Not as much spice as that one, but still good. Spent a lot of time in the Marine Corps, so I got a pretty big mouth on me. Looks like a chorizo. Hmm. So if I had to rank these from one to five, I would go with the spicy um, first, like the spicy one. Then I would jump to the chorizo. Um, I, I think it's chorizo based. I, I jump to this one. So I go one, two, three. It's a toss up now. I say four, then five. And the only reason I say that is because this is more sweet, but this didn't have as much flavor for me. So I say four, then five. 
Hey, let me jump in here for just a second and let you know that we would love to make this five ways series something that we do all the time on the channel. So if you're enjoying this and you'd like to see us do another five ways, let us know what that recipe might be. Maybe you're thinking of a specific meat, or you're thinking of a specific recipe. Put that in the comment section down below and let us know if you'd like us to do another five ways in the future. Our next panelist is Nick, and Nick is a former college football player, as well as a huge Star Wars nerd, just like this guy right here, as well as mentoring and raising up the next generation of youth. All right, all right. I was built for this challenge. Mm. It's like very traditional. Like if I'm going somewhere and I'm getting queso, it's what I'm expecting it to, to taste like. Very good. It's about as good as it gets. Mmm. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. Like I would put that on something, like on, on enchiladas or, or tacos or something. Very, very good. Let's see. Mmm. Oh, there's a subtle heat to that one. Like it comes later. It's not... It's not right away, but it does come. I like that. Keeps the guests coming back, that one. I like that. Mmm. Para los niños. They would, they would love that. That's very sweet, very easy. You bring your kids over for a Super Bowl party, you walk in, and the kids just start grabbing queso. You don't have to worry about them burning their mouths. I like that. Now, if you not if you had not told me that was queso, I would have not thought it was queso. I would have thought it was some sort of either bean dip or or something. Very good, but but I don't know. I think okay. If I was gonna rank these, I would probably go one here. I would go two. I would go uh, three, four, and then five. I would do it that way. Our next guest panelist is Janae, and Janae is a dynamite volunteer and leader. She's a nurse by trade, but she is a foodie, just like this guy right here, and I can't wait for you to hear what she has to say. Yeah, I wanna start with this one. Hmm, mm. What is that? Mm, okay, that's really good. Mm, I must be a little kid, because that one's really good. I don't know what's in it, but it's really good. Okay. It's almost like this one's evil twin. Like, this is a spicy twin. This is the good twin. That's really good. Wow. I didn't think that was gonna be so good. Hmm. How am I supposed to pick which one I like the best? This is gonna be hard. It just, mmm, it tastes cheesy, like, I don't know, I feel like that one's cheesier than the other two. Like, if they're, I'm not sure if there's meat in that one, but that one tastes cheesier for some reason. It would be great if there was things down here commenting on how wrong I am, but anyway. Mm-hmm. They're all really good. I don't want to hurt any of their feelings. Did they get a participation trophy? And that one I feel like had a kick to it too at the end. Or maybe I just didn't swallow from that one. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes like how it smells when you go outside of a barbecue joint. Like, it tastes like the smell of a barbecue. I don't know how you taste like a smell. But anyway, okay. Um, my favorite. Both of these are my favorite. I could probably eat vats of both of those. Um, and then this one, this one, and that one. I mean, they're twins, so I, I feel like I should get both, but I I, I like the, this one. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> no, I like the, mm, yeah. It's easier to decide on shoes. I, I think I like this one better, but, only because you're making me choose, because I really like both of them the same. Now you've heard from adults, 
but we thought you might also like to hear a kid's perspective on this, so we brought in our own local resident food critics to let you know their thoughts on all five dishes. It's kind of spicy, but it's really good. Hi. I'm really spicy. Yeah, I think it's it's spicy, but it's really good. I like the flavor of it. Mmm. That's really good. I really like it. It's got a lot of flavor. I really like this one. Do you agree? really good. I like this one. It tastes like the kind of queso I, could, I would get at a restaurant. I like it. I this is really good. It's kind of spicy. Yeah, it's kind of spicy. But, but I like the flavoring. I like the flavor of it, yeah. I like the flavoring. It's really spicy. And it's really spicy. But it's really, really spicy. But I still like this one the most. It's really spicy. Water. <laughs> this is still the best. This is definitely my first. Um, I think this one is second. I really, I just, I really like this one. Um, this one is third. It was a little bit spicy, but it was still really good. This one was fourth. It was a little spicier than that one. This one was fifth. It's way too spicy. I don't like spicy. I like this one first. And then this one. And then this one. Oh, you like the spicy one. Um, and then this one and then this one. And as a special bonus, we have the person who is almost always behind the camera whenever you see a video of ours. This is Melissa. She's my wife and my better half. She's the heart and soul of the barbecue lab, and you rarely get to see her on camera. But I convinced her to leave the cameras rolling, and we were able to capture her take on smoked queso. So I'm proud to present to you my wife. I love the smell of chorizo, but I don't love to eat chorizo. And you don't like chipotle. And I also... I'm not a huge fan of Chipotle's and Dobo, but hmm, I like that one. I'm really surprised how much I like that one. I'm gonna put this one number one. And I think the that sweet bourbon sausage was the clincher for that one. This one wasn't as spicy as I expected it to be. Yeah, you nailed it. It's just, they're very close. Mm -hmm. But that one's just, okay. just spicier. Mm -hmm. My ranking is not at all how I expect it. I think I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So that's it. Really, we've heard from kids, we've heard from adults, we've heard from all different types of people to be able to give you an idea of whether one of these is right for you. Now, really, it comes down to you now. Which one are you going to make for your football party that you have coming up or any gathering throughout the year? Let us know down in the comments below which one you're thinking about making or which one you have made because, man, we sure love hearing when you've made the recipes that we put out for you. Now, let's talk about some of the things that we saw that were similarities uh, amongst all of the people who tried this. We found that most of the adults kind of gravitated away from the queso blanco and more towards some of the spicier dishes. We found that the kids, though, gravitated right to the queso blanco, and they also gravitated right to that sweet bourbon uh, classic uh, smoked queso dish. Now, we talked about that classic dish having sweet bourbon sausage in it. And I wanna let you know, we picked up those sausage links from Fresh Time, which is a Midwestern market that you can find here all across the middle of the United States. And you find those right at the meat counter. You just go up and we had pork, uh, sweet bourbon sausages. We got them in link form. We just cut the casings off and fried that up. And it, it was dynamite. And that's really the only thing I can think of that is giving that the sweet flavor because there isn't sugar in that dish. The only two other things I could think of that it might possibly be is that can of cream of mushroom soup 
and the fire roasted red peppers, those could each add a slight bit of sweetness, but I really think that sweet bourbon sausage is what did the trick and really took the sweetness to another level on that dish. Now you can make that with whatever sausage you have on hand. You can make it with Bob Evans, Jimmy Dean, whatever sausage you can find locally. It's gonna be great in that dish, but taking that sweet bourbon and putting it in there really took it to the next level. Another thing we found is that the spicy queso wasn't necessarily spicy up front, it was spicy on the back end. So depending on what you're looking for in the level of spice in your queso, you might wanna actually upgrade the peppers. You might wanna go all the way to a habanero instead of some poblanos. You might wanna look at a serrano if you want a little bit less heat than that. But what we did with those poblanos is we fire roasted them and then we pulled out all of the veins and the seeds, which that's where peppers really hold their heat. But you've got to think about if that's what you want and you want that mild spice that kind of hits you on the back end, that's with the veins and the seeds pulled out of the poblanos. If you want to go ahead and add more heat in, leave those seeds in, leave those veins in, maybe upgrade your peppers to something hotter and then you can make it even spicier. One more thing that we found is that there were people who didn't even like chorizo and didn't like chipotle flavoring who really gravitated to that chorizo chipotle dip. And that was surprising to me. I made that one thinking that, oh, probably some people won't, won't enjoy that. And for not everybody was at their top, it wasn't their top one or two, but there were quite a few who were like, man, I'm really surprised by how well this dish turned out for me. Now that's one I happen to enjoy because I like chorizo, I like chipotle, I love those two flavors together, and I think that's a fun dish. But I was really surprised that those who weren't really keen for those ingredients did like that one as well. So I said it before, but we would love to make five ways, a series that we do here on the channel of taking a recipe, creating five different versions of that recipe, and then bringing in a guest panel to let you know what they like, what they don't like, what their favorites were. But we wanna hear from you. Is that something you would enjoy watching? Do you like this kind of a series? How is the guest panel? What do you think? Let us know in the comments section down below and you just might see another five ways here on the channel. Now, if you're looking for something else to take to the big game, in addition to some smoked queso, there's a killer recipe that we put out of the Mexican restaurant style cheese dip that we all love to get when we go to a local Mexican restaurant. It's that cheese dip that you can dip a chip into and have ribbons of cheese falling off the bottom and it is just absolutely delicious. If you wanna know how to make that, I'll put this recipe here at the end card, as well as what we love is our tomatillo salsa verde. It's a fantastic recipe for a football party and all you do is fire roast some tomatillos and some jalapeno and onion. You blend some things up in a blender and you come out with a fantastic green salsa that I know will be the hit of your party. So feel free to check those videos out if you're looking for something else to take to the party. If you haven't subscribed yet to the Barbecue Lab, we would love to have you here in the Barbecue Lab family. Um, there's no better time to subscribe than right now. Make sure you click those buttons down below. Click that like button if you like this video. Click subscribe if you wanna hear more from us. If you're into outdoor cooking and this is your thing, this is a great channel to be able to watch because we're all about outdoor cooking and outdoor living and we'd love to have you join us. Thanks so much for taking the time to be here today and I can't wait to see you next time.